Hello everybody, welcome back. We're gonna do some yoga today to help you relieve your stress and your tension, okay? Good, let's do it. So take your body to the center of your mat. Spread your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Swing your arms around you, like you're clearing the air, and your opposite heel is gonna lift as you swing, okay? So swing, slap maybe, swing, slap. Give your opposite shoulder a nice little tap. And you can, when you breathe in, maybe you wanna just sigh it out. Just let it go. It's a beautiful fall day here in the Northeast. And I am just loving the colors of this beautiful tree behind me. It is gorgeous. We did do a fall series earlier this fall and this tree was still green. So this is truly the fall season. We are truly in it. So we're swinging, we're breathing, we're letting go of stress. Say it with me. We're swinging, we're breathing, we're letting go of stress. We're swinging, we're breathing, we're letting go of stress. Just let it go. Let it go. What are you holding on to it for? Just let it go. A little bounce in your step, right? Feels good. A little bounce. And it's a catchy tune. Swinging, breathing, letting go of stress. Let's slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it, slow it down. Good. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Step your feet to their hip width. We're gonna take the arms out in front. We're gonna inhale, shoulder height. See how I bent my knees there? Exhale, lower down. Inhale, out to the side, shoulder height. Exhale, lower down, lift up towards the sky. And bow forward, knees bend, brush the floor. <sighs> Inhale, up to shoulder height. Front, sides, sky, and ground. <sighs> Front, sides, sky, and ground. <sighs> Front, sides, sky, and ground. <sighs> Front, sides, sky, and ground. You're inhaling with every movement. Good. Keep breathing. One more. Good. Come on up to center. Reach the arms towards the sky. Now reach your left arm long and bend your left knee. And let's do the other side. Stretch the right side, long arm. The left arm can bend down and we switch again. Keep going side to side, big stretch on each side. Letting go of stress and tension. Letting go of stress and tension. Is it in the sides of your body? Let's find it. Let's find where it lives. <sighs> We're going on a little exploration today. Finding where it lives. Both arms come up towards the sky. <sighs> Take a breath. Let's hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Drop your shoulders down. Squeeze them up to the ears. Squeeze them up. Drop them down. Squeeze them up. Drop them down. Good. Lower the arms. Down alongside the body. Lift your heels up off the ground and shake out the body. Shake it out. You're bouncing on a little mini trampoline and this body is getting the lymphatic system to pump. We wanna get that stuff out of the lymphatic system. Just let it happen. <sighs> Go ahead, take a deep breath in. You're gonna shift the body weight to the left foot, flip the right foot over. Press the ankle forward, soften your jaw. Rubber lips. Take a deep breath in. Just let it all go out of that jaw. Ah, spread your mouth open big, stick out your tongue, get personal here. Show your dental hygiene. Just let it go, who cares, who cares? Bring your hands in prayer. Bring your right foot into tree. Very intense tree pose. So perhaps you'd like to go against a wall. Perhaps you'd just like to play with it and let yourself fall. Take the arms up towards the sky. Get rid of that stress, get rid of that tension. Bring yourself into this moment that we are in. Bring yourself here, come back, come back, come back. Keep breathing, inhale deeply. Exhale, 
sigh it out. Ready? Let's do it again. <sighs> sigh it out. Good. Lower the arms alongside your body and take that right leg down to the ground. Let's shake out the legs a little bit and just notice your breath. <sighs> Good. Inhale the arms up towards the sky. Let's inhale. I said that already. Let's do it again. Hands in prayer, lower down in front of the heart. Bring your left foot, flip it over. We're going to do the flip first and stretch that ankle. I'm getting distracted by this crow behind me. He's talking to me. He wants me to do the crow pose, I guess. Left foot into tree. Grow the body tall through the crown. Take the arms up towards the sky. Drop your shoulders down and soften your jaw. Add a little song into your day. Remember, if you want to fall, boop, do it. Right? And you can say that. Oh, I didn't fall. I wanted to fall. Right? I planned it. Plan your fall. Lower the arms, lower the left leg. Stepping down, shake it out. Good. Float the arms out to a T. Breathe in. Give yourself a hug. The left arm under. Big, big hug. Mm. Circle these elbows in one direction. Letting go of stress. Letting go of tension. We all have it. We all deal with it. We all do. So how do you get rid of it? Circle the opposite way. How do you get rid of it? Ah. Turn it into something else. How about that? You don't need to necessarily get rid of it. Just turn it into something good. How about that? Hold it steady. Walk your hands across your back. Take the arms up, the elbows up, breathe in. So now we're gonna lower the elbows down and you're gonna bend your knees, round your upper back and tuck your chin towards your chest. Lift up, reach those elbows towards the sky. Breathe in. Lower, rounding, bending the knees, tucking the chin. Lift up, elbows up, breathe in. And exhale, round, tuck, belly, uh, elbows towards belly, button, knees bending. And then let's lift up. Let's float the arms out to a T. Breathe deeply and then bring your right arm under. Give yourself a hug. Oh, who needs a hug today? Circle these elbows in one direction. Mm. You need a hug, you give yourself a hug. All right, everybody give yourself a hug. Circle the opposite way. Give yourself a hug, you have the power to do that any time of the day. Hold it steady, walk your hands across your back again. Lift the elbows up towards the sky, let's inhale. And exhale, lower rounding, tuck the chin, bend the knees. Good. Inhale, lifting. We hold a lot of tension in these shoulders. Exhale, lower, rounding, tuck the chin and the upper. Lower back. Lift up. Let's do one more. Breathe in. Exhale, lower the elbow, rounding. Bend the knees, tuck the chin. Good. Come on up to standing. Float the arms out to the sides. Lift all the way up towards the sky. Good. Let's come to the front of the mat and bow the body forward and down into a forward bend. Bend the knees. Take a deep breath in. Let's step or jump into downward dog. Press into your heels. Let's pedal them out one at a time. Nice pedaling action going here. One great way to relieve stress and tension is to just use the breath. So we're gonna press the heels down, press the chest towards the toes. Let's take an inhale here. And exhale, come forward with your hips and down into an upward facing dog. <sighs> and then back to your downward dog. Let's breathe into downward dog and exhale out through upward dog. <sighs> inhale, downward dog. Exhale, upward dog. <sighs> So you can go as fast or as slow as you want with this. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going. Breathing deeply. Allow your body to readjust. Find little places where it needs a little extra love and attention. And maybe just the movement and the breath is gonna help you to relieve some tension that you're holding in the body. These muscles. 
the blood stream, right? We're gonna get some nice oxygen in there. Good, let's come down into your upward dog. You can flip the tops of the feet down here. Elbows are slightly bent. We're pushing the heart forward. We're squeezing the buttocks. We're pressing into the floor as hard as we can with the fingertips wide. Elbows are soft. Keep breathing. Push the tops of the feet down. Lower the knees. And let's sit into a child's pose. So the knees go open wide, the big toes touch, and we sit back with the hips. We're gonna extend those arms forward and down and just rest the body forward and down, rest your head down. Take a nice deep breath in here and feel your spine lengthening through the crown of your head. You're gonna walk the fingertips forward even more and just rest your head here. Exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Lots of breath. Good. Lift your head. Let's bring the body up into a table position. You're going to walk the knees so that they're hip width and bring your hands forward of your shoulders about a handprint. Circle around in one direction. You can curl the toes under here to help protect your knees. You can also bring your blanket under the knees. I'm a big fan of that. I love my knees, taking care of the knees. I love my nephew too. <laughs> Funny joke, circle the opposite way. I love my knees and my nephew. Good, let's bow into a puppy dog stretch. Breathe deeply. Exhale, rise up, come to table. So now your toes stay curled under, your hands are underneath your shoulders. You're gonna drop your belly down, inhale deeply, arch your spine, and then round your back, tuck your chin. <sighs> deep breath, arch your spine, take a deep breath, and round the back, tuck the chin. Again, arch your spine, breathe deeply, and exhale, round the back, tuck the chin. One more time, inhale, drop that belly. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. Push the ground away as hard as you can. Come to a neutral spine and create circles with your tailbone. So you're drawing on the wall behind you with your tailbone, creating a circle pattern. Notice your breath, your jaw is relaxed. Circle the opposite way and take your time here. What is your time worth? Good, let's hold steady. Walk the hands forward a handprint and let's push up and back into a downward dog. I like to bend my knees deeply to like send my hips up and back and then let's pedal out those heels again. Feel your jaw relaxed. Good, let's bend the knees deeply. Inhale, if you have a blanket there, move it to the side so you don't trip over it. And look forward, we're gonna step or jump to the front of the mat. And bow the body in a forward bend. So we pull the belly up and over the thighs and drop the head. This is a really great thing to do if you're feeling any kind of tension, you're gonna bend the knees deeply, grab either elbow and swing the torso side to side. <sighs> Let go of a big sigh here. <sighs> so we're exploring the body. Where do you hold stress? Where do you hold tension? Keep on swinging with that torso. Keep the knees bent. <sighs> Good. Lower the hands down. Let's take the right leg back into a lunge position. So we're going to inhale the hips up towards the sky and then we're going to exhale them down. <sighs> Make sure your front knee is stacked on that ankle when you come down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Keep going. Inhale up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower down. Good. One more. Let's inhale up. 
And let's exhale, lower those hips down towards the earth. Keep the back knee lifted, push into that heel. So now pretend you're stretching out your yoga mat with your hand, your feet. So much, you're pushing down into your feet so much that the hands could lift off of the ground. They're not really there heavily placed on the floor. So we're breathing here, lots of breath. <sighs> Push into that back heel, soften the jaw, walk your hands inside this front foot. So let's lower the right knee down to the ground. Remember, if you wanna use your, block, your blanket, there it is. And you're gonna to roll to the outside of your left foot. So that left knee drops open and you're gonna rock the hips from side to side. So here we are exploring the pelvis. Is there tension in the pelvis? Let's hold still, top of the right foot plants down and we reach the heart forward. So if you wanna stay here, option, or come on down to your forearms. Maybe you have a block underneath your forearms. We're gonna pull the body out of the pelvis, lengthen through the crown of the head and soften the jaw. The left knee is dropped open to the left and we're breathing. Let go of everything you can where you're feeling this in that left hip. Good, let's walk back with those hands. Bring that left knee back to center and frame the foot with the left hand. Curl the right toes under, let's inhale. You're gonna rock the body forward and back from one foot to the other, and you're gonna step the back foot forward alongside the left. Here we are, you're gonna bow the body, bend the knees deeply, grab by the elbow and swing. Again, side to side with your torso. Let your head hang. Breathe in and out. <sighs> nice deep breath with a sigh. <sighs> Just let it go. Hold steady, the hands come down. You're gonna take that left leg now and step it back into that lunge. Good, hands are underneath the shoulders and we're gonna inhale up and down with the pelvis. So notice and breathe. How do you feel in this moment right now Try to scan the body. Notice where there's any tension, any stress, any fear, any fear, right? Turn the fear into love. And let's lower the hips down into that low lunge. We're pushing into the back heel. The back of your, right, your left leg is trying to touch the sky. Remember, we're pushing really strongly into these feet so that the hands can basically be lightly on this floor, or maybe you have blocks there. Long, deep breath. Jaw relaxed. Lower that left knee down to the ground. You're gonna relax the top of that foot down. The hands come inside the front foot and you're gonna to roll to the outside of that right foot. Rock your hips side to side. Here we are again. What's happening in your pelvis today? <sighs> nice breathing. Hold it steady. You're gonna push into the back foot. Elbows are soft, so here you can stay. Or you can lower down to those forearms on your block or on the floor. Allow the right hip to relax and open. And keep your jaw relaxed. Nice deep breath. You want to slowly push the hands down into the ground and frame the front foot. 
curl the back toes, lift the back knee. Find that rocking forward and back, forward and back until you feel the back foot wants to come forward alongside the right. And we pull the body up and over the thighs and we're just gonna bow here, dropping the head. <sighs> While you're forward bending, shake your head no and shake it yes. Let go of the <sighs> Anything that you're holding. Good. Inhale to a flat back. Let's take those arms out to a T. Push with the feet and come to standing. Reach the arms up towards the sky. So you've been forward bending quite a bit. So the arms come up. We're going to inhale here. And now little back bend. So you want to push the hips slightly forward, not in front of the knees. And we're going to lift the hip, the heart up towards the sky. I get to celebrate with this beautiful tree here that's been dropping weird little things on me. I'm not sure what they are. Squeeze your bottom and lift your heart up, 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 up. Good. Bring your pelvis back to center. Bring the hands together into prayer. Lower down in front of your heart. <sighs> Good. So let's do a crow pose. We're going to come down into a squat position. Now, when I say let's do crow pose, what I mean is do what you can. And why not, when we're trying to get rid of stress and tension, why not try to achieve something that feels good to achieve? Why not? Why not? And also find a level or a limit for ourselves that feels good. If you have a blanket or a block that you'd like to perch yourself up on, you can do that. So I'm going to show you. So we have a perch. And you're going to step on that perch like you are a crow on a perch. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see this. Okay. If you're not using your perch, that's fine too. You can just bring your feet on to the ground with your heels up. So your hands are going to plant out in front of you. The fingers are nice and wide. You want that weight to be evenly distributed. You're going to take this slow. Okay. So we're going to rock the body forward into the hands and then rock back to the feet. Find a rhythm that feels good for you. Rock forward and rock back. And then come back to your breath. First question is, are you breathing? That would be number one. Second question would be, are we breathing deeply enough? Third question can be, is my breath working with my movement? Can I allow the breath to initiate the movement? So now when we walk, when we rock the body weight forward towards the hands and we have spread fingers really wide, I want to grip the ground with my fingertips and also pull back with the fingers. So I want to grip and really pull back. That's going to help strengthen my forearms. So we're going to rock the body weight forward. We're going to lift the hips up and I want the knees on the outsides of my upper arms here. So as I rock forward, I want to get small. I want to round my back. So I squeeze in with my knees, my body weight transfers to my hands and I lift a foot up. Now I'm really pushing with my hands and if it feels good, I can lift the other foot as well. Keep rounding and squeezing inward with the knees. You can always just alternate one foot and then the other as an option. And then lower your feet back down to the ground. Deep breath in. Good. Now knees come down and let's sit onto the heels and shake out the wrists. So for crow pose, if you want to keep on practicing that, feel free to do so. If it's stressing you out or making you tense, then don't do it. It's a lesson, right? We have to learn these lessons. Bring the body forward onto the belly. And here's some great ways to let go of stress and tension in the back body, okay? We're going to rest the head, bend the knees, windshield wiper side to side. OK, 
Can you feel that relax in your lower back? Good. Lower your legs down behind you. Take a moment to breathe here. Allow your head to look forward. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Slowly push the body up and back. And you're going to roll right onto your back body. Take your time here. Come on to your back. Allow your knees to hug in towards your body and you're just gonna rock from side to side. A wonderful treat for the lower back. A wonderful treat for the back body in general. We're gonna hug the right knee in and extend the left leg long. Take some long breaths in. And long breaths out. You can purse your lips and push it out through the lips. Good. Switch your legs. Bring your left knee in. Extend your right leg long. Relax your shoulders. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Push it out. Good. Extend both legs long out in front. Take your arms stretched back behind your body. Take a deep, deep stretch. Really big. Through the fingertips, through the toe tips. I'm going to invite you to bring the arms alongside you, palms facing up, and let the feet fall open and stay here for a few more minutes for your Shavasana. Follow the breath in through the nose, expand belly, ribs, chest, and let everything go. Let everything go. Let everything go. and have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.